Performance benchmarks for the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. All tests are done while plugged into power. We're also in Samsung's high performance mode, and we have the Windows Power Plan set up to use a Samsung profile instead of balance mode. First up is Geekbench 6. CPU single core comes in at 2363. Multi-core comes in at 12,083, and GPU performance comes in at 32,929. Let's compare that to last year's Book 3 Pro 360. The single core was 2430 last year, so we actually see a slight decline on the single core performance according to Geekbench 6. Multi-core is 10,685 on last year's model, so we have a 12.2% increase this year in multi-core performance. GPU, 17,259 last year compared to 32,929 this year. That is a 62.4452% increase in GPU performance. And if we compare the Book 4 Pro 360 to the HP Spectre X30 16 inch and also the MacBook Air, the M3 model, both from this year, you can see it's testing out pretty much the same. The only difference is we have a little bit better GPU performance on the Book 4 Pro 360, while the MacBook Air M3 dominates the Windows laptops on single core performance at 3,157. Next up is Speedometer 2.0. With previous generations of the Galaxy Books, we scored a 280 with the Book 2 Pro 360, a 304 with the Book 3, and this year we score a 375 with the Book 4 Pro 360. So quite a substantial bump in web browsing performance compared to previous Galaxy Books. And new this year is Speedometer 3.0. The Book 3 Pro 360 scored a 20.6. The Book 4 Pro 360 scored 22.5. Next up is Cinebench 2024, which is new for this year, and I believe this replaces version R23. The Book 3 single core CPU performance came in at a 102, while the multi core came in at 540. For the Book 4 Pro 360, the CPU single core is a slightly lower score at 101 versus the 102. Multi core is substantially improved though, 624 over 540. So again, we're roughly seeing that 11 to 12 percent bump in multi core performance. Now we're taking a look at how the single core performance stacks up against other current models. And now we're taking a look at how the multi-core performance stacks up against other current models. Next up, this is a viewer request for 3D Mark's Time Spy. Combined score comes out to 3,512. CPU, 6,604. GPU, 3,244. Considering the extended battery life we're getting this year, as well as the lower thermals, I'll go ahead and link a video that talks about both of those down in the description. I would say that this is a pretty substantial improvement with the Book 4 Pro 360 over all previous generations. Over a 60% bump in GPU performance, 12% on the multi-core, roughly the same as last year's on the single core. Considering we're getting roughly three and a half hours longer battery life for day-to-day -day tasks and media consumption, I would say this year's Intel 14th gen is performing very well. And one more thing I want to touch on before we wrap up today's video. In a previous video, I had mentioned that the RAM utilization was about 10% higher on the Book 4 Pro 360. Well, after concluding my tests that I was doing for that video and restarting the machines, uh, as you can see here, the RAM utilization is basically the same on both machines. Last year's is 51%, and with this year's, we have 49%. So it's actually a non-issue. It must have been something to do with the little testing script that I was using, because after a reboot, everything's fine. So this year's Book 4 Pro 360, testing extremely well. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.